when you're an Indigenous person, you often have a lot of reasons why you either silence yourself or you are silenced. I think finding my voice and using my voice is the resistance. When I looked at who I was as an Indigenous woman, I realized that I come from an oral history. My people have been sharing stories of who they are and how to be and act in this world. I'm responsible for upholding and continuing my family's legacy. My mom had to fight to be who she was. To raise kids who were proud of being Indigenous was not something that, it wasn't a path that was paved for her. So it was this like incredible resistance of being raised to talk about who I am and to, um, to want to share that with others. My goal is to be the kind of woman that my mom has taught me and shown me to be. She's so good at making you feel like you absolutely belong. One day maybe my kids won't have to ask so many questions. They won't wonder why they don't exist. They won't look for themselves. Um, and they won't question their identity. Maybe my kids will grow up in a way where um, they really just uh, exist, you know? Beauty is so personal, but beauty for me is about connection. It's about how you want to connect with people, it's about how you connect with your world, and how you say who you are. Bojo, Wabin and Ango Queen Disney Cause, Wabazeshi and Dodem, Anishinaabe Queen Dao, Bachwana and Donjabani Soma Dewian. That's my real name. Uh, I'm also known as Serene Fox. 